we bought probably now eight years ago, five and a half billion dollar portfolio from Sam Zell mm-hmm. of apartments. And uh, they were being sold by EQR, which is a company that actually helped start Equity Residential Properties Trust. It was the nation's largest apartment um, owner. And we bought Atlanta and Charlotte and uh, Raleigh and Florida and all these growth markets in the South, which we were paying, we were all in. We, we have, we're busy every day. We're buying stuff. We're, we're seeing the results. We're managing these assets. And he basically uh, concentrated the portfolio in New York and San Francisco and in the, in the cities that at the, up to that time were like, this is where you invested. You were a bi-coastal investor. You invested in the hard to reproduce cities of New York and San Francisco, maybe LA. And we bought the Sunbelt states. You know? And I was like, I knew with certainty that these our markets would grow multiples faster than those blue state cities. And, you know, people said, oh, Sam's got, you know, the leg on Barry and Sam didn't have a leg on Barry. His, his, his earnings started to come under significant pressure and we, were, we levered our portfolio and it's been an amazing investment. In that video, Barry was talking about the Sunbelt markets and how they were gonna outperform the bi-coastal big markets like the Californias and the New Yorks. The reason why he was talking about that is because jobs were pouring into the Sunbelt. Like you had uh, Tesla, you had Apple, you had all of these large organizations pouring jobs into Texas, pouring jobs into the Atlanta market. All of those markets were experiencing tremendous job growth. And when you get job growth, the people that are working in these jobs need a place to stay. And then that's when we come into play and we, we provide housing for those people. So the number one driver of real estate is job growth. And when the jobs come and they stay, the people need a place to live, to raise their families, to go enjoy themselves at. And that's when we come in and we provide housing for them at rental rates that are way more affordable than on those bi-coastal states. So what do I mean by affordability? Well, if you're making $100,000 in the Atlanta market, or you're making $100,000 in the Texas market, right? And your rent's a thousand bucks a month, right? That's $12,000 for the year. After taxes, when you're paying 50% in taxes, right? You're gonna have $38,000 remaining to spend on whatever you wanna spend on. But if you're out in California and you're out in New York and you're paying $3,000 a month, there's a big difference there. $3,000 a month, and, and even say you doubled your salary there, right? So you're now you're making 200 grand. After taxes, that's really, you know, 50% tax bracket, you're at 100 grand, right? Now you're spending $36,000 in your rent because you've got your $3,000 a month, $36,000. So $100,000 minus $36,000 is going to be $64,000 left to spend on whatever you want. When you're looking at $38,000 remaining and you're making $100,000, you got 38% left. Whereas in this situation, at the end of the year, you have $64,000 left. Now you have 32% of your money left. So the housing affordability is way better in these markets because your cost of living is, is reduced, which then allows business to actually continue to be more profitable because you don't have to pay your employees sky high wages for them to be able to have additional money left over to, to go do entertainment, to put their kids through college, to go do all of those additional things. They can still do it and actually live a way better life in these Sunbelt markets. So the first reason why Barry wanted to move and start buying real estate in the Sunbelt region is for job growth, which then creates population growth. He bought it because of affordability and affordability for the people that were gonna be living there, which was gonna tremendously increase, especially as those bi-coastal states like California and New York prices continued to rise there. And the third reason why Barry wanted to invest in those Sunbelt region markets is because he was able to diversify his risk. The price per unit in those markets was significantly reduced in comparison to the Californias and the New Yorks and the Washington DCs. Say a per unit price in Washington DC is 500 grand. And a per unit price down in the Texas or the Atlanta market is 100 grand. That means you can buy five units in Atlanta or Texas versus buying one unit in those expensive states. So now you have five families paying you every single month instead of one family paying you every single month. If that one family 
loses their job, gets into a financial situation that they can't handle anymore, or they have a personal problem that's destructive in their life. Now all of a sudden, your $500,000 asset's in trouble. Whereas in that Sunbelt region, if that one family gets into trouble, you still have four other families to continue to produce and create and pay rent to continue to keep your investment growing and moving forward. So that there was a, there's a significant risk diversification that Barry was looking at when he was looking at those Sunbelt markets. I totally agree with what Barry Stern up to sharing in that message. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. You can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook at Oliver Fernandez 3 I have new videos just like this one dropping every week. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you want to hear next. Until then, keep growing and keep learning. Just do it.